more than five years of research and testing on mice. What have you got here? Yes. Texas right. Biomedical Research Institute says a compound called tetragene from a Chinese herb seems to be the best cure for Ebola. So we gave the, the drug uh, one day after they were given the virus. And in that situation, um, half of them survived, which is which was really quite good, actually. And we kept moving around. Dr. Robert Davies says instead of finding a drug to directly attack the virus, his team researched how to stop the function of a protein called two-port channel, or TPC, needed by Ebola to multiply. And we looked, at, looked into more about this protein. We said, oh, yeah, that's got to be it. It has to be. So we, we, we tested it and we were really lucky. Um, it, was, it was the right target. Davy says when Ebola enters the body, the virus tricks a cell into swallowing it. And it gets taken up into the cell in a, a bubble. But before Ebola can infect the cell, this drug ends up stopping the function of TPC, an essential protein needed by the virus. The drug that we discovered is like the traffic cop. And it gets up and says to the bus driver, stop, you can't go on from here. And so the virus cannot get out of the cell and ends up dying. That whole process is actually a really new finding and has told us, is teaching us a lot about how Ebola virus works. And we're actually also discovering a little bit about how the cell works. Now, even before this can even be considered for people, Davy says his team will have to do further tests on the herb and try its effectiveness on primates. Now, this herb is grown in many places besides China, even here in Texas.